What's up guys, we are back and today we are just going to be uh, cleaning out the inside and I'm gonna pull out all of the, the seats and stuff and try to get them as clean as possible, see how far we get today. Uh, it is a little overcast right now, so we might get a, a little bit of rain, but hey, that might actually help us. So, uh, you know, let's get started. What's up guys, it's actually the uh, following day. We ran out of uh, daylight yesterday, so uh, I just wanted to give an overview, overview of um, <clears throat> what all I got done yesterday. Um, it's been about six, seven hours on it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look. So I took out all of the seats, including the driver's seat, the front seats as well and vacuumed everything. It actually turned out, uh, it cleaned up a lot better with just a vacuum than I thought it would. I'm, I've got my uh, uh, spot cleaner, carpet cleaner over there that it's, it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna go through all of it. Um, and it should clean up actually very nicely. Um, got rid of all of the trash. Just all right there. Yes, nice bunch of trash some stuff over here too and then got started on the seats did not get all of the way through ran out of daylight like I said um, but some of them are looking good like this one looks pretty good um, some of these are gonna need another go through for sure though uh, but this is what they were looking like some, these are actually some of the cleaner ones too. Um, some of these other ones cleaned up real good. So um, yeah, we're gonna get back to work and start cleaning those again. Or finish up those, um, bag up all the trash, uh, and then we'll see what else we get to today.
what's up guys we are back on the uh third day i believe it is uh cleaning up this interior um it's got a overcast day which i am happy about because i did get a little bit sunburned yesterday so um basically just going to give you all an overview of what uh what, I've, what all i have done i pretty much complete uh finished all of the seats at, at least the best of my ability um some of them turned out really good um, and others, they, they just sun faded and uh, I'm not going to be able to get everything out. But honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, like, let's see. Here's the driver's seat. Um, it almost looks brand new. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the driver's seat. But also, this was one that was uh, covered up, you know, uh, from the, the top. So, but as you can see, like, on this one got a little bit of fading on it but the the white cleaned up pretty good it looks a little dingy in some spots but I'm not gonna pull them all out for you I've got them all stored in here because of all the pollen right now in Austin um, I did <laughs> I didn't want to have to reclean them but honestly I'm, I'm pretty happy with them they look pr they look pretty good um, I think I have decided about the interior the rest of the interior that is um specifically the engine covers they do not look good at all as you can see I, I took a pressure washer to them for a little while last night um or yesterday um those dark spots uh i ran out of gas so these dark spots i didn't get to but i think what i'm gonna do the actual like stitching there's no holes or anything or uh cuts so I think what I'm going to do is um, do some vinyl paint on them uh, for upholstery. I know some of y'all might give me grief for that, but um, I have some plans for this uh, interior. Uh, but because boat season is pretty much here, I don't want this thing sitting in the upholstery shop for you know two months while I could be using it. So uh, I think just for this season, I'm going to just just paint the white um upholstery with some vinyl paint i'm a firm believer if uh you do the prep work and paint and you buy some the high quality stuff it should last but i've never dealt with the uh, vinyl <sighs> vinyl upholstery paint so we'll see we'll see um i think i showed you all you all this already but it vacuumed up um, today. I'm gonna take the pressure washer and just just kind of go around and, and loosen up all this dirt, get everything. Just try to get the interior as clean as possible. So we will see how far we get today. Um, but yeah, I will let you know. And then hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna see if I can actually get this thing started. See what uh, all mechanical stuff needs to get done to it. But um, all right, talk to you later. What's up guys we are on day uh four um of the interior clean uh we didn't work on it yesterday because of the, the weather but honestly today it looks pretty much about the same it's drizzling and overcast so yay um so we'll see how much i get done today but all right my goal is just to clean up the um these seats as, as best as possible 
um, not, not seats, but backrests as, be as best as possible. I did, last time I, I did clean this, and it actually looks pretty good now. Uh, that's, I haven't done this side, I've only done this side, and you, you can clearly tell a difference, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way around, but we will see. Uh, I really need to get a cover for this thing, so I'm not cleaning everything twice. <laughs> it came with one right there, but as you can see, it's uh, ripped, so I might utilize that for a while um, until I can get another one made. But uh, all right, let's get to it. I just wanted to give y'all a, a quick little, I guess, sneak peek uh, how this, how good this stuff is working. Uh, I'm just using a uh, magic eraser and um, some heavy duty de uh, marine de degreaser. And uh, you can look here, you can tell which sides I cleaned and which sides I didn't. So, <laughs> but it's, it's working pretty well. Um, this is all just sun fading. I think I can get the majority of the, that out like I did the back over there uh, but I'll have to use a different product for that and it's got a couple little mold mildew stains which I've got another product for that as well uh, and then we got this side which is that is what this side just looked like it's pretty good so let's continue All right, I'm gonna show you all a little trick that I learned on YouTube. Well, I hope it's a trick. I haven't actually even tried it yet, but see how there's uh, water lines on both sides? Apparently people have been saying that toilet bowl cleaner called the Works works. And I uh, thought, huh, that sounds familiar. And I went and looked at my bathroom and sure enough, I've got a full, full bottle of it in my bathroom. So didn't even have to buy any. So we're gonna try this. So yeah, apparently, I can just, I'm just going to put some on a rag right here. It should just be able to wipe on, and it just takes it off. Let's see. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Do my best not to get into the carpet, because I'm pretty sure the majority of this is bleach. But that works pretty dang good all right just wanted to give a little overview of what everything I've done so far since the last update so I've got all the front cleaned pretty much I'm gonna go over it with the the mildew stuff and uh, some other stuff to try to get this sun faded spots out like I did in the back uh, gosh sides right here all done these are looking nice and then got all of this pretty much clean. I need to clean this top part a little bit better, but uh, that is looking pretty good, I think. Um, this chrome piece, I think what I'm gonna have to do is probably take it off and either have it re-chromed or more than likely, I'll probably just sand it down and paint it like silver, I don't know, something. Um, I was told that I guess there's too much copper when they uh, chromed this piece, which makes it like look like that. So, which, funny enough, this actually looks very nice. So, it's interesting. Um, but haven't done any of this side yet, any of the back side besides that one engine cover up there, or any of this side. So that is next. But yeah, this this spot's looking pretty good. It's, uh, it's cleaning up pretty nice, I will say. Um, I think I told you all in the first video that I had more of these coming. Well, I'm stupid and I, I thought they were like these covers right here. Well, they're 
covers for the whole speakers to protect them. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is just take these apart and maybe pop these out um, and try to get them looking good. Maybe, maybe paint them. I think they'll clean up. Um, I think I'll be able to get that rust off, but we'll see. Uh, and then I need to, I'm gonna take um, the wakeboard racks all the way off and get all of these polished up as, long, as well as these uh, mounts on both sides um but yeah okay so next next is uh gonna do this whole back area and uh should look pretty good after that see y'all in a second So we've got, ooh, look at this guy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we, we've got pretty much the, all of the, the backrest cleaned. Um, I didn't go to the extent I did on the actual seats just because they weren't nearly as bad. Um, but uh, now I'm going to work on um, trying to get this the sun faded part out uh, and just, obviously I've worked on that one a little bit and that one looks decent I'm gonna work on a little bit more get that one to where at least that one is and then work on the top part of this and then interior will pretty much be done I'm gonna spray it down one more time with soap and water get make sure I get all of that de degreaser out um, and then I'm gonna put some UV protectant some 303 protection on it uh, make sure it you know stays protected I, I, I said before I was gonna vinyl paint this but I don't if, if it comes out decent enough at least as de decent as this one I'll probably just leave it because like I said I'm gonna during the winter time I'm, I'm gonna have the whole interior redone anyway so might as well um, save me some money that way anyway but uh, yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning this, see how it looks. What's up guys? Uh, sorry, my battery died just a little while ago, so I didn't get, you, you guys didn't get to see everything, but um, I've got this side looking decent. I, I haven't touched like the back, so obviously it's darker. I'm gonna go on the other side and do that uh, probably tomorrow. But I've got this side, I think, better looking than this side now, so um, it's gonna take multiple hours, but uh, I think I should be able to get this pretty close to looking looking pretty good so um, hopefully about one maybe two more days for the interior um, I'm gonna vacuum it again obviously because now I've got oh, all kinds of stuff in here from the wind um, but honestly we're, we're looking pretty good um, I'm pretty excited. It, I can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, um, I'll be back tomorrow to, to hopefully finish up the interior and then we can get on to the, uh, to see if it even starts. 
But uh, all right, we'll see y'all later. What's up guys? Uh, I believe we're on day five of working on this boat. Uh, I'm gonna move on uh, from the interior until, until at least my cover gets here um, just because it's about 90% done and if I don't have a cover here then I'm basically just doing everything twice. Uh, but the cover's about two weeks away, uh, two or three weeks away so uh, I'm gonna work on uh, trying to get this thing started as well as some uh, other cosmetical things. I'm gonna take the uh, stickers off here in a second uh, off the side the wake setter stickers and then I'm um, gonna pull the wake racks off and the um, tower speakers and uh, get those cleaned up too um, and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can get this thing started What's up guys, so we have uh, taken off all the speakers on both sides, uh, as well as the stickers on both sides. Um, I'm gonna polish these probably off camera, make them look good. Uh, I've got the speakers down there, as well as the uh, wakeboard mounts. Uh, I'm gonna polish those up. I'll give you some before and after here in a second, but we do have, I did uh, install both, both batteries here, so we're just gonna see if it, even attempts to start over. I got my fire extinguisher here just in case. So, uh, wish me luck. And three, two, one. <laughs> 